we pool the purchasing power of our members in order to offer uh, selective and, and tailored programs that provide their businesses with economies of scale. Um, the program with Granger, the Retirement Trust, um, what we do with Sedgwick and unemployment insurance claims, um, it, 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 it's, it's all with a white glove and the savings, it set the service aside you know, first and foremost, but the savings, big time dollars, big time dollars. Sure, but um, I, I think it's even more, it's, it's more uniquely tailored because you have, you, you, you've got a team of people here that call, leave voicemail, send email messages, visit in person. And it's because we want to continually anticipate, uh, understand and respond to the immediate and emergent needs of each member uniquely. And you don't get that from Costco or Sam's I and mean, you've got to go in the warehouse and fend for yourself. Um, we want to support each member with value that's relative to their specific interests and, and ultimately appreciate the member benefits, the community, the information, the training, the resources, the advocacy as a tool grid. Not everything's going to be for everybody. But if we understand over time, you know, right now it's training hey i'm looking for some cash i heard you have a program about that's when we talk about it that's what yields to retention it's relevance and value that leads to retention i, I believe tma's longest standing partnership in this uh, in the resources area is with sedgwick claims management services i i think that partnership started uh, I believe it was with Martin Boyer, and it started probably when I was three years old. Dude. They were, well, they, from soup to nuts, for the members enrolled in that program, from soup to nuts, Sedgwick handles all of the uninsur unemployment insurance claims. They monitor the claims, they respond to them, they, uh, if, if there's any doubt, um, they reach out to the, the enrolled member to find out what's the reason for the separation. If there's an appeal, they deal with it. If there's a hearing, they deal with it. Um, you know, maintaining a, a, as your, an unemployment insurance tax rate as low as possible is absolutely huge. I, I mean, one claim affects your rate for three years. Well, when it comes to um, industrial supplies, um, tooling, materials, I, I, we have a program with Granger. Um, for some members that spend significant amounts in Granger with Granger, um, it more than pays for their dues as far as what they save. Um, I, I have it here. I can't quite read it, but I think last year um, the average savings for the enrolled. Uh, accounts was more than 17, maybe almost $1,800. Uh, that's average. I mean, some of these companies, the returns were $25,000 in savings. Freight, you know, LTL with yellow. Um, we have the Retirement Trust. We have uh, the Health Solutions. Uh, we have our partnership with Daniel and Henry. Um, we have um, our Manufacturing Jobs Board. Um, we partner with a, a payroll services provider as well. Um, I, I, I think in, in addition to savings, I think most of these programs also provide a really high level of service. I mean, we're talking white glove, which I think a lot of our members come to expect. That's that's how they appreciate being taken care of. Um, and, and there's, you know, instead of, if you're a small manufacturer and, and, and you, you, you try to do this on your own, you're gonna go to a call center. You, you know, you're gonna be a number among thousands. And with our programs, if ever there's an issue, you're encountering a challenge, you have questions, you're, you're getting us as your staff, 
um, and, and we're connecting you directly with, with the person and at, with, at the provider that can, can help you, can make the pain go away. So you can get back to bending and molding and welding and, and manufacturing. Well, so far as why they join, it's the community and the information, I think most important. Um, I, I do believe many of our members want to feel like they're part of something bigger, that they're not alone, but that, that feeling of camaraderie, I believe is huge. Um, we're trying to uh, transfer that feeling um, from the, the in-person galaxy of TMA's universe into the online galaxy that is also now part of TMA's universe. Um, it's incredibly important because now people are even busier than they were during or before the pandemic. And in large part, that's because there's even fewer workers. So the pressure to find talent is is definitely mounted. I mean, if the pipeline was a trickle before, it feels more like a drip now, but. Finding that cash is, is the key to so many other things right now when you're at capacity and you don't have any more bandwidth to take on the additional orders that you want to, but can't. So if we can, if we can find ways to help you do that without it being painful, um, or at least help you to benchmark what you currently have to ensure you're getting the deal that you think you're getting, that's that's important. That's savings. A lot of times, members will will work with us um, when, you know, at, with and look at one of our programs, and then they'll turn around to their incumbent provider and say, "Hey, what are you doing? Why am I paying so much?" Suddenly they, re, they, they find savings. Now they may not have enrolled in our program, but if it wasn't for us showing up, calling, emailing, asking, listening, they wouldn't have found that savings. You can tie that directly back to TMA membership. I don't want to forget to mention, I, I think one that will help our members to sleep better at night. And that's the HR helpline. While the HR function is often a routine and sometimes urgent um, need, two, two constants are laws are always changing and compliance can be daunting. So, especially for someone who's not a fully trained uh, SHRM certified human resources professional, um, oftentimes I think the role of human resources falls on the person within the organization who not only is smart enough, but, but knows enough to be dangerous effectively, you know, keep a company on the straight and narrow and, and out of hot water. So we offer the HR helpline exclusively to our members to provide them with with guidance and, and, and real life personal professional experience um, and, 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 and answer, respond to the little brush fires and questions that come up when you least expect. Throughout my life, and as I think early on, I realized I enjoyed being a good resource for people. I fell into the association world. I, I've been an association management professional really since I left grad school. And I fell into it because I wasn't happy with my graduate work. And um, I realized it was another way, it, 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 it was an outlet for what I thought I would accomplish in political science and in urban planning. And that, you know, connecting people to ideas and ideas to action. Um, I, I like being that go-to guy, but not just because it sounds good, but I, and, and I, I, 
And I've fallen into the trade association realm, the business association realm. And um, it's incredible what our members do. Your support is not something we take for granted and don't let what we have to offer be the best kept secret. Don't ask yourself, wonder to yourself, reach out, ask us. We're lovely people. I promise we won't try to sell you something, but if it makes sense, we might speak compassionately about it because we really want to see you succeed. What makes you come to work in the morning? Patrick Osborne. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Dennis Lacombe. Oh. And that will be a clip. <laughs> and it, it's, it's, it's Every morning, one of them is waiting outside, making sure I show up to work. Because really, I'm independently wealthy. As you know, I won the Mega Millions. So I do this out of the kindness of my heart. Um, do you want to make that information public? Well, I'm predicting the future. <laughs> okay. Because Tomorrow's the drawing, Fran. I know. <laughs> I'm laughing. We're making this for sure. Okay, tomorrow we'll give Chris a call. <laughs> We're 